Three weeks ago, I was unlocking my phone 15 times a day just to check if something changed. This week, I did it zero times for this purpose. I created myself a little e-ink display that's mounted on my wall. Uh, you can see it behind me. There it is. It's mounted on my uh, IKEA whole plate wall and it basically shows me my finance stats. You can show whatever you like, but for me it was my finance app that kept me unlocking my phone, check if something changed, check the current status of the stock market, you know. But there's one big problem. Every time when I'm unlocking my phone, I'm not only checking the finance app, but then I have the whole world of social media around me and I already unlocked my phone, I already have it in my hand, so it's just one swipe away to go to Instagram, go to LinkedIn, go to Twitter, TikTok, whatever. And every time I did it, I was doom scrolling afterwards for 10, 15 minutes just because I was checking my finances. And the worst part of all, even if the market is going down like crazy because Trump did tweet something weird, I did not sell anything. So. It makes zero sense that I check my stock market every one hour. But now I have this wall display, it shows me my current stock prices, it shows me my current data from my real asset values. In this case, obviously, these are mock data, but technically when I enable it, it shows me my real stock data, my real portfolio, and it updates every hour. And because it's an e-ink display, it doesn't disturb you. It's just hanging in the wall there. It doesn't create any light. It doesn't create any distraction. But I can just check the stock market, just check the prices if I'm interested in it. And um, yeah, it stopped me from unlocking my phone constantly. And the nicest part of all, it's real time. It takes my real assets from the Wealth API. Um, it pulls the data in, it stores them, and then it shows them uh, on this little display. And this is running on an ESP32 C3. So it's like really low power mode. Uh, it has one big battery in it and it can run with this battery for like a month without recharging because it's an e-ink display. So it goes into the deep sleep after the refresh and then it doesn't update for one hour. And that's something that I'm really proud of or really love because it's like an e-ink, it combines the tech, it combines all the things that I really enjoy. It if, combines finances and all of that together. Um, yeah, and that's why I think it's a pretty nice project. Um, it has like these IKEA th style. So let me show you, I can just pull it off. So it's like this, it's currently on. I can just turn it off with this uh, on off switch. And let me show you if I turn it on, it should start refreshing any second. Um, so it goes, connects to the Wi-Fi pulls the data from the API, in this case not because it's disabled, um, but it then shows you, ah, okay, until I have a certain goal that I want to reach, I have to wait or save 10 more years. I'm currently at 22% of my goal. In February 2036, I reached the goal of whatever I set in the back end here. So it will be just updated based on that. And yeah, it can, can just be hanging here at the wall do not disturb me at all and uh, fits nicely in, blends nicely in with all my keyboards and all the other tech that's hanging there. And I really wanted to show you this because um, yeah, I, I enjoy building that kind of stuff. Uh, you can see the display, the battery is off or the, the ESP is off at the moment and you can still see the display. That's the part that I really enjoy about the e-ink displays. They off, there's no power consumption if they are not in use. And here you can see this is like a standard 18650 battery. Um, they hold up forever and you, the height was determined by this for me. Here you can see the USB charging port. Um, this is going then to a step up module that's putting it to five volt and going into the ESP. You can see it's just the jumper wires. I did not solder it on yet. You still can manage to fit it in in a smaller package if you put in a better smaller battery and here we have the on off board battery now you can see it's turned on and you should see the refresh of the display any second soon and here we can see the full refresh of the display um, this is the only situation where it takes power then it will turn off into the deep sleep mode again and uh, will drain very very little power so it will hold up very long time. 99% I would say it's vibe coded with Claude code. So you can really, really simple go get into the habit of 
building your own uh, visuals just with wipe coding. I was pretty impressed with Claude code, how good it was. It just gave it direction, said I want to have this there, this there, and then it built the whole thing end to end. But I will also upload um, the code to GitHub so you can check it out, you can build your own. I will also upload the code for the back end. It's an Alexia app that's connecting to FinanceFlux and to the Wealth API to pull in my real portfolio data. That might be interesting for you as well because it's like a little hack around um, because the Wealth API does not provide the real API for um, consumers like me. So I have to say it works quite well since I'm running it now for two weeks. It shows me the current uh, wealth status of myself. Sometimes it's a bit disappointing if you see the stock market go down. I'm unlocking way less my phone. I'm not checking 20 times a day uh, Trade Republic because I now can see it visually updated once per hour. And that's something that I'm really enjoying to see, especially if you uh, into the habit of saving a bit money and uh, yeah, just looking at the screen, seeing how much you saved or how much progress you made um, in this reaching your, your goal of whatever you will set it to is quite interesting for me at least. I would say it stopped me from doom scrolling that much. It stopped me from unlocking the phones that often so I can just leave it in my pocket, leave it somewhere else. Not getting into the rabbit hole of going into reels because yes, I am not really good in self-control. Uh, these companies spend quite some money, quite some time into making it as addictive as possible and um, I'm not very good in resisting in that. So all in all, I have to say it qu was quite a fun project. The, the parts cost me maybe 20 to 25 euros. Um, the e-ink display was 15 euros and the other parts I had laying around. So it was not that expensive. I 3D printed the case and all in all, um, I think that's a pretty nice project to have especially if you are interested in seeing some updates that you care about. You could also in, add your home server status on there or you could add some other statistics that you are interested in. For me, it was quite a nice project. Uh, I know a few friends who have a similar setup and have it on the wall to see when they can retire or something like that. So that's also something that I found pretty interesting and want to dig into um, if I can reach the financial freedom at some point. But this is interesting to have as like visual on the wall, I think. If you have any interesting visuals to show on the screen as well, uh, let me know down in the comments, happy to discuss and I will link the source code also in the uh, comment section. Have a great rest of the day. See you next time.